see him. They will quote Quran to the young to brainwash them. But the Quranic verses they will think are in their favor. But Holy Prophet said actually they were against them. The Quranic verses would be against them. Then Holy Prophet said, Yaduna ila kitabillah, walaisu min hufi shayin. They will invite the people towards Quran, Sunnah, towards Deen. And their first slogan was, An inner hukmu illa lillah. The first slogan of the terrorist in human history, in Islamic history, they said, We want enforcement of Islamic law. This was their slogan. We want enforcement of Islamic rule. We want the Amir of the, the Khalifa, the Amir of the Muslim, Ummah. And we want to struggle against shirk and bid'ah. In il hukmu illa lillah. Sayyidina Ali said, their slogans, the words are correct and their intentions are wrong. Because of these good words and slogans, appealing slogans, they want to create disruption in the Muslim Ummah. Holy Prophet said, they will invite the people, their apparent call would be towards Quran and Islam. But be aware of the fact, they had nothing to do, no link, no relationship with Quran. Again, Holy Prophet said, Yakuluna min qawli khair al bariya. Their slogans will be very religious and appealing. Today, the slogan, why the young people, the boy, the youth, they became brainwashed. Slogans of these people are appealing. Just the, the interest of the Muslim Ummah are being crushed. Crushed. Their lands are being occupied. Very appealing slogans. If anybody, if charged to the British youth, that somebody is occupying the British land. And some people are aggressing the British people. Stand up for your own liberation. Stand up for your independence. Stand up for self-defense. Defense. You will be no more in this earth. Very appealing slogans. So this would be their appealing slogans. We are revenging. We are defending the interest of Islam. We are defending the Ummah community of Islam. Holy Prophet said, Min qawli khair al from Quran, wa yakuluna min ahsanin nasi qawla. Very appealing words and slogans they would raise. But Holy Prophet said that this would be just an hypocrisy. They will just attract the people with their slogans, but their own practice would be against my deen and my sharia. You see, un al fail, their character would be against Islam. They would be cruel, they would be brutal, and they would be devious people. This is Holy Prophet Muhammad. Um sharrul khalqi wal khariqa. These terrorists, the Kharijai terrorists, starting from the end of the last century, ending up to the appearance of Antichrist, appearing more than 20 times in the history of mankind, even up to the, our time too, all these people said they would be the worst of the creatures. Worst of the creatures. And Holy Prophet said, more or less, Yasfikoon al-dam al-haram. Their identification would be that they will shed blood unjustly. They would be the mass killers of the people. They will consider the killing of the people lawful. And then Holy Prophet said, for them, innahum kilabun nar, they would be the dogs of hell. This is Islamic verdict. So I am not giving a, an innovated, a new verdict. I am just declaring what Holy Prophet ﷺ preached and communicated to the Ummah and to the mankind. This hadith that they would be, that these terrorists of Khawarij will be the dogs of hell. This hadith comes in Sunan at Tirmazi and hadith number is 3000. And they would said that they would be the worst if you kill them, worst slain under the sky. And moreover, they will stand up and they will commit armed struggle and rebellion against the Muslim governments also as well as the common humanity. <coughs> and they will be against the peaceful dialogue and they will believe in militancy, tyrancy and they will believe in these kind of activities. So I want to spare rest of the time for questions and answers. Although there are lot many other aspects I have just quoted up till now a brief just of two chapters. Just two chapters, I have concluded two chapters up till now. And my this fatwa consists of uh, uh, 11 or 9 chapters. The last thing which I will just want to quote, to quote the authorities. This is not Dr. Qadri who has interpreted the Quranic verses and Hadith about the kufr and taking them against out the ambit of Islam. 
the authorities of the classical authorities imam bukhari has put them in the bracket of kufr number 2 ibn jarir tabari has declared these khabarijai terrorists with the kufr imam ghazali has the same verdict qazi abu bakr al arabi has the same verdict imam qazi iyaz al maliki sahib al shifa gave the same verdict imam qurtubi gave the same verdict allama ibn taymiya gave the same verdict Imam Taqiyuddin Subki gave the same verdict Imam Shatibi Ibn al-Bazzaz Badruddin Aini Imam Qustulani Mulla Ali Qari Abdul Haq Muhaddis Dehlavi Abdul Aziz Muhaddis Dehlavi Ibn Abidin Ash-Shami Abdul Rahman Mubarak Puri all these aimma give the same authority which I have quoted and second view point those who don't declare them kafir disbeliever but they agree on killing them they say this is compulsory and mandatory to terminate them they are imam abu hanifa imam shamsuddin sarakhsi hafiz ibn hajar asqalani and sheikh imam ahmad raza they said that it is mandatory on the people to kill them and terminate them and a last reference allama ibn taymiya is the one who declares that the people in our time he says not only those who appeared in the time of sayyidina ali or to the caliphs were khawarij terrorists people of our time are also khawarij terrorists allama ibn taymiya he says in his book majmu'ul fatawa and his book an nubuwwat he says since they took up the arms they take up the arms and fight against the governments and fight again for their ideologies to enforce the ideology and fight against man time and they consider the killing of mankind halal lawful that's why the people of today this kind of people they are also khawarij and kharijai terrorist and say people ibn taymiyah's words are innahum aksarun nas la ya'rifunhum most of the people they don't identify and recognize them unless they take up the arms and start the act of killing and terrorism whenever they start the act of terrorism you should know this is a continuity of kharijait disruption and kharijait movement which has been declared by holy prophet that if whenever you find it you should terminate it and holy prophet said there is no place for the extreme terrorist of dialogue with them you can have dialogue with those people who are behind them but those are to be eliminated if you leave them they will reorganize they will get the time to reconsolidate them and because since they are the enemies of you should finish and eliminate them like the ad and smooth nations almighty allah finished them so these were the basic uh, some features of the whole edict which i have given a uh, some of the brief aspects in front of you now i would be pleased to leave remaining time for all of the respected audience and the participant for question thank you very much